All right, guys and girls, welcome to another episode of Astral Auto Repairs. <laughs> dig it, dig it. All right, guys, check it out. On the side of me, I got a 1974 Chevy Corvette Stingray. All right, and today we're going to show you how to replace the key and cylinder. Also, a lot of people like call it the ignition switch, but it's the key and cylinder. All right, coming up on Astral Auto Repairs. This channel is a member of the Astral Stars, which means we have a zero tolerance policy against the harassment of others. Anybody who violates that policy will be banned. For further information, please visit www.theastralstars.com. All right, guys, the first thing you want to do is grab you a 516 or 8 millimeter shallow socket quarter inch drive with the quarter inch drive right. I don't know why I'm doing this. How many of you guys are going to be watching this video? <laughs> Alright, anyway, you're going to take your seat right here, pull your seat forward, then there's going to be a compartment right here. Let's pick this compartment up and this, dang, it's better to go lean to the side. Good thing it's fiberglass. Let's back this up a little bit. And what you're going to do here, guys, is take off the negative battery terminal. So we're going to loosen this up right here. off now you want to let the battery go make sure you take your cable and bring it all the way to the side make sure it cannot go back there and touch that let's put this to the side and close this up bring our seat back forward and we'll be right back all right guys the first thing you want to do this is already this is it's messed up we're gonna have we're gonna have to put some see if we can put some wd-40 on it or something wd-40 i mean you, some uh, jb weld to glue this back because this is the horn pad now what this is supposed to be supposed to be is supposed to be hooked on to here. This ring pushes inside of this ring right here. Make sure you get this thing lined up. Supposed to be in there just like that. Then you use the horn. But the problem is this came off. And then you're supposed to just take it and pop it right off so what we're gonna do is before we even continue oh yeah on this job guys we, we didn't diagnose anything customer just called us up want us to replace the switch because it seems like it's kind of jammed here all messed up but that doesn't necessarily mean it could be this though but anyway we're gonna fix that but what we're gonna do first let's mix up some jb weld and glue this thing up so it can set all right we'll be right back all right, guys, we got our JB, JB Weld here. And what we're going to do is squeeze out equal portions. Okay. Then we're going to mix it up. I'm using my screwdriver. Of course, I'm going to clean this off. We're going to mix this up until it becomes a uniform color. Who's uniform? A uniform. All right, there we go. Now, what we're going to do here, now we can, we got this all lined up and all. What I'm going to do here is take a little bit on the screwdriver. Put it there, put it there, and put it there. Then I'm going to take the ring and I'm looking, I'm feeling to where it, there it is right there. It's up there. Squeeze it down, it came out a little bit. Then I'm going to take the rest of it and that's gonna 
finish. You moved it. No, I didn't. I didn't move. You moved it. I did not. I told them people I moved the thing. Well, they could see it from the sides. That's right. So if you hit it, move it. Dang, see, 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 see how Sylvia throw me off, man. Of course, it's my fault. He drops the screwdriver, but somehow or another, it's my fault. Cause you're distracting me. Yep, that's what it is. All right, let's get this. Let's hold this down. And just want to get this off right here. Just want to make sure that. Oh, whoops. Dang Did it. you move it now? I just picked it up a little bit. All right, guys. Now we're gonna let that sit while we go over there and start taking this thing apart. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, while that's over there doing that, let's take up some Phillips screwdriver, and we got these three screws right here to remove the horn ring. Okay, one, two, and three. Let's get those three screws out, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we got all the screws out. And what we're gonna do is take up the whole assembly. Yeah, buddy. Look at that, guys. Look at that. And take a pit, pit, take note of how we took this out. Especially, you see a little elbow right there that's coming down right there? That pushes down on the horn button, this little button right here. So when we put that back together, we gotta make sure both of those are gonna be lined up. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, the next thing you wanna do, that's a funky looking screw right there. I guess it's just to stop, the, this is stop using the turn or whatever. All right, guys, next thing we're gonna do is take out these two screws right here. And these two sc screws stop that center bolt from spinning. They're very short, so be sure you don't drop them and lose them. All right, got these two out. That's loose. Let's see if this. Uh, let's see. Now we're gonna get a number three screwdriver. This one is a number two. See how small it is, and this one is a number three. And let's see if we can take that out. Okay. Let's take this and the two screws. And what we're gonna do is put this in the party line. What the heck is a party line? Matter of fact, let me show you. We'll be right back. All right, guys, this is the first part we took off. Now, here's the next part we took off. Now, the reason why you're doing this is that if you're not used to a job, what you wanna do is every time you take off a part, you put it down in a line. And when you go to put this job back together, you start from this end of the line and work your way back. That's why you don't have a bunch of parts over in the corner, getting confused, you put the whole job together, then you forget one part. That's what I call the party line. Yeah, buddy. All right, guys, let's get back to our job. We'll be right back. All right, guys, the next thing you wanna do, we got to take off this nut right here. This nut is a 7 8 So I'm using a 7 8 deep uh, 3 8 drive socket. Put it right there. Get my 3 8 drive ratchet. And you want to make sure you have a ratchet with enough leverage on it so you can move, so you can get enough turn right thing. We'll go loosening. And now on this part, what the heck? Guys, this is not supposed to come off that easy. It's supposed to be <laughs> kind of tight. And, and then but hold the steering wheel or have somebody hold the steering wheel and break it loose. So that is not, that was not supposed to be just that easy. Matter of fact, since that's easy, now, this guy, this part right here, guys, let's see if we got a little mark up here. There's a little mark right here, a little indentation. And this is the part you wanna make sure you put this thing back to where it belongs for an alignment purposes. Not, not that it'll throw off the alignment, but if the car going down the road straight, you wanna make sure your steering wheel is straight. And it looks like there's a mark up here, but we're gonna get us a little chisel and put us our own mark there. All right, be right back. All right, guys, so we got our chisel and we got a little hammer. What we're gonna do is set that punch right, that chisel right about there. You're gonna hit this one good time with the hammer. There it is. Yeah, buddy, look at that, guys. <laughs> now, usually you'll have to take a user tool to take this steering wheel off, but being that everything was loose, I wanna see if it just comes right up. This is a telescoping 
Yeah, I figures it did come right up. Let's get down with those spring with it, you know. So it's not supposed to do that? No, it's not supposed to do that at all, guys. You see um these holes right here? There's supposed to be a special tool, a steering wheel puller, to remove this off. Because this thing is supposed to be really tight down there. And it wasn't. Then we got the spring in the back. Make sure we keep all that together. And let's go put this to the party line. And we'll be right back. Alright guys, the next thing we do, got this little ring right here. Let's just take this up. And then we got this plastic cup piece right down here. Now this plastic piece is, you can see there's a... There's a bigger opening right there, right there, and right there. So you want to make sure you put it back that way when you take it off. And you just kind of pop that piece right off. All right. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you got this little clip right here that's holding all this down into place. So what you want to do is take your screwdriver and right up here, right there, you see a little opening right there. Just take this, take this screwdriver and pick that piece right up now this time what you're gonna have to do guys this thing is spring loaded so and it's not it's not too bad pop that up now these three right here let's go put these in the party line all right we'll be right back all right guys the next thing to do we got this metal ring right here and sometimes it's a little pain to get up, take it up, put that down, then you got your other, well this is the horn ring right here, pull that up, and put that, let's go put these in the party line, and we'll be right back. Alright guys, we are almost there. Now if you look, let me turn the steering wheel like, I'm, I mean, like the signals like I'm making a right turn. If you look way back down in there, you want to see a silver screw. That's what we're trying to get to right there. But before we get to that, we got to take off our whole signal turn mechanism right here. Now to take that off, as you can see, there's three Phillips screws. One, two, and three. And to get this one, you got to make it a right turn. If you want, you can leave it right there as a right turn already. Also, on this side of the vehicle, on this side of the steering column, this is for your hazards. And inside of here, there's a Phillips screw. So that's what we gotta start off with first. We gotta take that screw out. We're just gonna take out the whole assembly, take out this whole thing right here. And let's go put that to the side, to the party line, and we'll be right back. All right guys, now what we're gonna do is take out our three screws. When you take out screws like this guys, you wanna make sure you put a little pressure down to turn them, cause you can easily strip them out and then it's gonna be a nightmare. So let's get those, and if you want, get you a magnetic screwdriver so you can pick those, take those screws out of there. Because you don't want them, you don't want to lose them or anything. Okay, one. And let's take out this one. And then this one. Alright, let's take those screws out. And you can get a little magnet if you want. As well, in case you want to get those down there. Be right back. All right, guys. I got another screwdriver here. Let me see if this one's magnetic, and it's not. So what I'm gonna do? Either I use my magnet, go down there, or little trick. You can take your magnet, hook it up against your screwdriver, and your screwdriver is supposed supposed to become magnetic. And this is gonna make me look like a fool. You know what? Forget that. Give me. It's too big. No, it ain't. See that? See that city? There. Alright. Alright, guys. Next is your signal arm handle. So, this, it's got a little, matter of fact, it's got a little flat edge on both sides that so you can grab on something to and spin that with a pair of uh, pliers or something. Huh. That's loose as well. <laughs> so we just go to unscrew that and it comes right out. So right. I have a question. Yeah. So all this stuff being loose, couldn't it have affected the lock cylinder? Nope. Because oh. the lock cylinder is way down there. Okay, but you don't know what else is loose. Savi. 
I'm just saying. I'm saying city. There's locks on the cookie loose. All right, guys, let me put this up to the side. We'll be right back. All right, guys, now it's time to take this up. Now, what's the piece of paper right here? Now, there is a wiring harness, a nice thick uh, ribbon, a wiring harness that runs all the way down here to the bottom. Now, what you usually have to do is take this cover off. Matter of fact, let's, 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 might as well show you. Okay, on this one, looks like we got three Phillips screws. We got one. Two and three. Let's take those screws off and we'll be right back. Alright, guys, let's take this down, lean down to the side, and that sucks because we still can't see the wiring. Here it is. We got this wiring harness right over here that goes all the way up through there. Now watch what happens. We're going to go up here and I'm going to move this. Dang it. You see, I don't know if you saw it move a little bit. But anyway, let's go back up here. So what I'm doing is pulling that harness up. If you want, let's take this, this spring. Out of here. Okay. You just want to pull that whole thing up enough, just like that. And down here, you can see the you can see the harness right there. Look, this been changed at one time. Maybe that's why all this was all messed up. All right. Now, oh boy, that's not good. That's hold, that screw is not what's holding it in. All right, guys, you know what? Let me go get a light. And matter of fact, let me uh, let's look at this new switch right here. Piece on it. All right. So you see this little thing, this little part right here. That's how this one. Some of these are held in by one screw, and you take the screw up, and it'll come out. This one is not. This one is held in by this little thing right here. So. Let's see how it goes. When we take it out, this thing comes up and locks into the into the housing, so you're not be able to pull it out. And this one, wait a minute, this one is not supposed. I'm not, guys. I'm not supposed to be able to do this right now, because that's supposed to be out and locked into place, and it's not. And then when you put the key on. Something's definitely wrong with this right here. Maybe it's because of this right here. Let me see. Huh. That is not... Oh, well. We'll see. Alright, let me get a... So, if I put this into here, that means that hole right there is where I gotta push that clip down. And once I do, you gotta you gotta make sure the key is in the on position. That's what you're supposed to do. Make sure the key is in the on position. Push that little clip down, and this this cylinder will slide right out of there. So let's get a light or something so we can see down there, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, I got my light in here, and actually, guys, the pin I need to push in is inside this hole right here. Let's see if you can get a look at that, and I'll move the cylinder back and forth. You got it? So what we're gonna do, got to make sure the key is on. Right, what happened? Make sure the key is on. Put I got a flat screwdriver and I'm gonna go down there, push in that pin, and it's supposed to come right out of there. Just like that. Wow, this thing is messed up. Look at this thing. So, now we're going to get our new one. Now, this thing lines, this thing only goes in one way. See a little, my little old messed up down there. Matter of fact, let's go bring you to the other side. We'll be right back. All right, guys, and on the other side, you see this little opening 
right here. That's what that's got to line up to. But that's not the only thing. <coughs> Way down inside, you're going to see like a, a pin or something, like a, a slot. That's got to line up to this right here. So that's why your key has your key has to be in the on position right now. Line it up. Push it in. And it's in. Look at that, guys. Perfect. Won't come out at all. You see that, Sivvy? Do you see that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right, guys. We'll be right back. All right, guys. While we're over here, before Sivvy goes to the other side, look at our party line, guys. This is what I'm talking about. See? Now, once we set that thing back there, the, for the signal turn, we just walk our way right back up this line, putting everything back into place. Perfect. You're right? No mixed up parts. No nothing. All right? Let's get back to this. We'll be right back. All right, guys. Next thing we're going to do, let's put our... Whole thing over here. Uh, hold on one second, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys. I just noticed this, this little piece right here. What is this? This is for the hazard lights. Well, the for some reason, it just got all blurry. Let me see if I can get it to. Okay. All right, it's focused. All right. So what we got to do is. See the back of the switch, that little opening right there? That's what this goes into. So we have to stick this down in there. Uh, stick it on to that. Okay. Now slowly lower our assembly down right there till it till we see the hole right there now what I'm gonna do right here while we got that down there look at, while we got that just right there what I'm going to do is grab the switch for that. We don't want to make sure we don't lose this. Lose that, let that thing drop. And we're going to slowly screw that in. Cool. All right, now you're gonna come back to the other side and we're gonna work with this. Be right back. All right, guys, now we're gonna put our three screws in and I'm gonna be using my finger at the screw also. Get that started off. This one. Get that one started. Then the top one. Now I like my other screwdriver better. And now what we're gonna do is tighten those three up. Okay, let's operate it back and forth and make sure perfect perfect all right then let me I'm pushing my hazard lights in over here make sure that's good what's so funny Sivi? Nothing. all right guys that looks good now before we do anything let's put that spring back in there before we lose that all right, and what I'm going to do is put this cover. Why wasn't that in the party line? Because it's connected to something over here. Let's see if we get that. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Let's put this panel back up here. Put our three screws. Dang it, man. What the heck? Just a big Fiero. 
Uh, Alright, let's tighten up these three screws and we'll be right back. Alright guys, the next thing we do, we got our signal handle, which goes over here and somewhere over there. I can't even see it. Good, so you put that thing in there. Sorry. Not in my job description. Well, at least let me know where the heck it is. So you know what? Let's put this Fine, up. here. Give me. Let's put this up here first. Give it to me. Give it. Here. Why won't it screw on? Is that Maybe, maybe I'm supposed to be at an angle? Yeah. What angle? Oh. It's right there. You do it. Oh, now I do it. There we go. All right, guys. You're welcome. Put that in there. Now, I just put this on. Now, this has a flat spot to it, a flat side, and then it's around it. So, this... Oh, yeah. this oh, now I see it. Okay. And this has two flat sides, so I'm not sure what the heck. Let me see. Let me see. Can you put... I know which way it went, but it can go either way. But I noticed it was facing downward. Bam. There we go. All right, guys. We'll be right back. All right, next, guys, we got our metal ring right here. Now, this metal ring is to lock the steering wheel. If you look... Dang it, man. I should have did this. should have showed you before I put it back in there. You see, there's a tab right here. Look. The piece that sticks out right there. Well, it don't stick out yet. But when you take the key off, that piece comes out. Actually, it should have came out more than that. But it comes out and it locks into one of these grooves and that's what locks the steering wheel. So let's put this on. Now this is the front part. Pushing this down at the same time putting this ring on. I was like, dang it, why are you supposed to do that? Well, actually, if it doesn't go on and doesn't do it, I'm going to show you the tool we use to uh, fix that. We'll be right back. All right, guys, this is the tool. This is an old tool, man. I don't, forget, I don't know how many years I had this. But what this tool is, inside here, there's threading, threads. So what you want to do, make sure this is loose. You're going to screw it onto the threads. That ain't going to work. Because this is a telescoping steering column. What this is supposed to do, this is supposed to be steady. So this screws onto this. And as you're tightening up the nut, it brings this arm down and pushes that down so you can put it on. That sucked. And this thing telescopes and come right out, so what the heck? How old is your tool? Oh. Wait a minute. I mean, that's kinda, lock it wait a minute, that's kind of stupid because if it's like that, that means I could have just pulled up the whole steering wheel. So my question is when you telescope it, how do you lock it into place? So can't wait a you, minute, did somebody do something? Can't you lock that thing in this place? Is, this is the... No. This is not right because that means the steering wheel can actually come out. Maybe it's not really telescoping. Maybe there's something wrong with it. Oh, somebody did some messed up stuff here. Because this is not supposed to do this. That is dangerous. That is so I've dangerous. I've seen that in movies. What? <laughs> People driving down the road and the steering wheel comes off. Uh, all right, so we're in a little bit of problem here <coughs> because now what I have to do is 
push that back and get that clip on there. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright guys. Only way I can do this is it's gonna take uh both me and Sylvia to do this. Um Alright, so when I push this down, there is there is a, a groove on that sh on that shaft right there. There's gonna be a groove that this is gonna slide down on. Okay. So hold right there. <laughs> hold on. Oh, oh. I can't see. Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, well, you actually almost got it. <laughs> well, that's not gonna pop out, is it? No, no. That's hard to push down. Hold, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh. You want me to see if I can push the. No, right? actually, because I noticed this clip is off centered. Oh. So I'm wondering, do we got it the opposite way? Oh. So take that clip back up. Okay. Let's turn it around. No. That's what locks it into place. What? This. That locks because that it place? locks that 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 uh, half locks. moon into oh. place. Alright, so it's gonna go this way. Okay. Alright. You can take your time, you know. Can it, it, I? It, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take your time. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm kind of in the groove, but it's hard yeah. to push in. Push it this way. Damn. Why she hit my finger? Yep. I'm not happy with this. No. Now you picked it back up. Hold on. Hold I, on. I'm, I don't feel comfortable doing hold that. On. All right. See if I can push it more. Yeah. See if you can push it more. Well, that thing is hard. Hold up, hold up, because that, yeah, it is kind of. Let me just see if I can use this to pop it down. You did move it a little. Yeah, where's my. Give me something to use as a hammer. So, let's get it. No, no, I actually think that's it because it's, it's got to be up some. Oh. There we go. So, let me see. Now this is supposed to well that goes still goes all the way up still but yeah that's what locks it in place. So let's take this off. Ah oh, man. Alright now check this out guys over here this is what I was telling you about. Now right now the steering wheel's turning back and forth. So you shut it off. See that and they knew that. I knew that thing. Yeah, it locks into place, but that should have came up a little bit more. Alright, we got that in. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, next on the party line is this little plastic piece right here. Make sure this thing... Big end, little end. Make sure. This only sets in one way, so... What the heck? There, there we go. Snapped into 
place. Then we had this little bushing right here. That went on. Great. All right, let's move on to the next step. I'll be right back. All right, guys, next is our steering wheel. Let's get our steering wheel on. Let's bring this down. And we got our, remember our mark that we put there. It really, really. This thing gonna do is like that. There we go. Okay, it's lined up. Let's get our nut on it. Get our 7 8 socket deep. And we're gonna tighten that up. And we're gonna hold our steering wheel in place while we're tightening it up. Now, this guy, I don't know why this thing was loose. Now I see why, because the whole thing, hold oh, no, on, there it is. Okay. Okay, make sure that's tight. Perfect, guys. It's look good. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, now we got our ring right here, and we notice our ring got this little piece that sticks out right here. You wanna make sure that's on the top of the steering wheel. Actually, if you try to put it up, <coughs> on like this, it won't even line up. You're not even gonna get it. You gotta make sure it's up to the top. Take our center bolt. Bring that in. Get our number three Phillips screwdriver. Tighten this up. Okay, now you can turn this to make sure it lines up. And actually what you wanna do, just in case that turns, you wanna put it over to the side over here. And then, line it right there. Just in case that does come loose, you don't wanna put this mark all the way over here because if you do, it'll turn, it'll turn, it'll turn, it'll get right there and it'll stop, but you, want it, you don't want it to turn as much as little as we want to turn a little as possible so actually right there is perfect get our two little full screws get them into place and you're going to tighten these up till it stops watch you drop in there and then it would suck Stops and a little bit more. Let's get the top one, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, our horn pad is next, but I am wrong because the our horn, the little button down there, I can't even see it. So what I'm gonna have to do is take these out. way because I need that open right there for this to set right down in there so I'm gonna go right there and put these screws back in actually what a good point is I'll just line it right with the center all right let's put these back in and we'll be right back all right, guys, ready to put our horn pad on. Remember, we got that little part that sticks out right there, a little L. And it's got to go line up right to that right there, the little button. So we're going to push that down. Get, our, get all the screws lined up. Start them off by a couple threads so we don't cross thread it. Then take our screwdriver and bring all them in. And you're gonna bring it down till it stops and a little bit more. All right, let's get that done and we'll be right back. All right, guys, look at that, guys. That thing is great, man. Look at that, that is perfect. Nice and sealed up there. Now, you got these three openings right here. Very important, guys. You're gonna see our steering wheel. Our steering wheel is straight, well, somewhat straight. Make sure our flags are straight and we're gonna set it just like that. And if you look for them down here, if you set it straight, 
our openings are gonna go right over them horn pads right there. So we gotta make sure this whole thing is centered and then pop it into place. Bam, look at that. You see that, Sippy? Yeah. All right, take our key out. Cool, put our key in. Go to start it. Of course, we got the battery disconnected, but perfect. Look at that. The customer called it right. Yeah, buddy. All right, guys, we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're going to connect the battery. And I wanted to show you guys the car and show you how the engine looks to start up. But Sylvie said, nah, you guys wouldn't care about that. So we're not going to show you that. So let's hope yep, this that. That's right. So blame Sylvie if, if, if you don't get to see the car. Mm -hmm. All right, let's tighten this back Why up. Why does that battery seem like that? I don't know. What do you want me for? But I don't think it's supposed to. No, it's probably supposed to be a shield, something up under there. It's not. All right, guys. <laughs> let's go out here. All right, guys. Let's take a walk around the car and look at it. Show you the engine and everything. That's right. It's the Stingray. Check it out, guys. Stingray. This is the engine. Customer bought this car about a month ago. Chevy 350 when times are simple that's what this is all right so let's take a walk around it looks like I drive it you drive it I bet you would you drive it Chevy? sure nice paint job it's got the regular Corvette rims too yeah boy check that out all right guys you know what you know another point right Wait a minute, I should, I should get my shades. You're not going for a ride? Yeah, but it's, it's, it's image. Oh, God. Oh, God, I gotta get my shades. Nah, let me stop. Let me stop playing around. <laughs> all right, let's check this out. Now, you know, to, to all you young cats out there, you gotta pump that gas pedal a little bit. <laughs> up here. Chevy Corvette and we showed you how to replace the ignition lock cylinder. If you guys have any comments or questions you can post it below in the comment section or you can email Timmy at Tim at AstroAutoRepairs.com. Hope you paid attention if not watch it again. This is Sylvia from Astro Auto Repairs. If we can't repair it nobody can. See you next time.